Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Oil Field Worker. In this video, we are going to discuss about offshore roasterboard job, definition, duties and responsibilities, and skills and qualification for this job. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and comment the video and subscribe to my channel for new video updates. So let's start with roasterboard job definition. Roasterboards are manual laborers who work on an oil and gas drilling rigs. They are responsible for wide variety of tasks and main aim is to keeping the oil and gas rigs running safely and efficiently. Sometimes a lead roasterboard would supervise your work. Roasterboards typically work difficult shift and environmental conditions. Their working hours is more than 12 hours long so they need to be physically fit and need to have good stamina becoming a roster boat is typically the entry point for workers in oil and gas drilling rig after roster boat mainly the next job position will be floor man also we can get job as a assistant crane operator or crane operator by proper training and certificates. Next we can discuss about duties and responsibilities of roster boards who are working in offshore drilling rigs. Cleaning, chipping and painting the deck, equipments on the rig and working areas. Housekeeping all over the rig. Report any unsafe job to their supervisors. Follow barge master, deck foreman and crane operator orders. Follows company HSE policies and procedures. Before the supply boat come to the rig, we have to make arrangement as well as make space on the deck for upcoming cargoes. Similarly, all empty basket and containers should be backloaded with backload tags. Normally, backload tag includes rig installation name. Next one is date, on which date has to be mentioned. Last one is inspected by who. There we can write deck crew. All this offloading and backloading should be done according to the instructions of deck foreman or crane operator. Actively participate in and promote companies health and safety campaigns, policies, procedures as well as ensure personal safety and other colleagues at all the time. We all know that people arrive and depart from the rig by helicopter. When the helicopter lands on the heli deck, the crane operator will be the helicopter landing officer HLO and roster board will be heli deck assistant HDA and have number of duties that includes monitors and control the passengers that arriving from the chopper and departing passengers from rig to helicopter ensure safe handling of cargo and passengers baggage to and from the helicopter in emergency HDA and HLO plays an important role as emergency rescue team member one roster board need to put fire jacket and do standby on chopper landing and takeoff operations relieving floor man only experienced roster board relieves the floor man on the rig floor helps assistant driller to maintain and repair different drilling equipments moves supplies and equipments to the work site helps mechanic electrician and motorman if there is any need for installing new equipments and also if there is any damage to the equipment in rig both electrical or mechanical mixing chemicals to prepare mud for drilling operations except caustic soda it should be mixed by the dirt man because it is very dangerous chemicals. Cleaning the mud tanks. Mud tank as well as mud mixing should be done as 
directed by the Derek Mann or Mutt engineer. Next one is sounding the tanks. While we are transferring fuel or brine from boat to rig, the word sound is used to describe the process of determining the depth of water, fuel or brine inside the tank. Tanks are sounded to determine if they are full or empty. Also, we can determine if there is any hole inside the tank and for any other reasons. If there is any welding work on the rig, the fire watcher will be tossed about. And before doing fire watch, the hot work permit must be signed and not only that, fire watcher jacket must also be worn. It is the roster board's duty is to assist the assistant driller or company man in measuring the length of casing pipe or drill pipe. For your information, usually company man will measure the length of casing pipe and assistant driller will take measurement of drill pipe, crossover, pub joint and any other drilling tools. Next one is bundling and unbundling the casing pipe and drill pipes. Prepare casing pipes by cleaning the thread by high pressure wash gun or any other chemicals that includes mainly rig wash. Removes protectives from the pin and box side and also rabbiting the casing pipe. Rabbiting help us to know that if there is any damage inside the pipes and also fix centralizers in casing pipes before casing job in case of any emergency situation like blowout or h2s leakage on the rig we should work as a fire team as well as rescue team those who are on duty will be the fire team one and those who are off duty will be fire team two and the next one is picking up and lay down tools, pipes and equipments from cantilever deck to the rig floor. Roster boards have a key role in preventing and cleaning up the spilled oil and mud and keep the rig clean. Carrying tools and components from the toolbox and after the work return it back correctly. Last one we are going to discuss is roster board skills and qualification. Their qualification is at least high school or diploma. These are the skills for them. They are strength, physical and mental stamina, safety procedures, time management, team coordination and communication. If you have any doubt, please ask your question in the comment box. Also, I hope you understand what I discussed earlier. And if you like this video, please like, comment and share the video. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.